babies. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shosli Mimi, where you get a gist. I see they do waiting. I see they heart. Of course, you know there's no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If it snows, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly post right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pots? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. So, talking about the gist, I see the heart right now, guys. Your faves in the house, the top seven housemates in their number, we gave them the opportunity to, for the very first time this season to go to the diary room and vent. Like, it's not like go to the diary room and Biggie will be asking you, How are you? How was your day? Nah. Go there, go vent about your stay in Biggie's house. So they went in their number. The first person, sadly, I couldn't watch that of Makeke. Yes, because I love I love watching him, you know. So, but I missed out on his diary session. I actually started watching when he was actually about to leave the diary room where he was being grateful to Biggie and how he has actually learned a lot, how this place has shaped him to know what to say and what to do as I went to also do it. So I did not really get his session from the beginning, but the rest, let's say, oh, let's Mosha. Okay, I'll be starting with Z after my keke was Z in the diary room. So immediately when they get to the diary room, what Biggie does is he'll just ring a bell. So the bell will just, the bell will tell the start and the finish of your venting. So so, um Z started off with um coming into the house was not really easy the first two weeks was not really easy the energy she was getting from some of the housemates was actually not it so she just to choose to you know day her day that she's this kind of person that she like being on her own because she don't like getting peace or she don't like anything getting to her because if she gets peace or something gets to her it will ruin the whole day for her so she's this person that she just like you know being on her own stay on her own to avoid negative energy you know so and there's yes, during the first two weeks it wasn't easy as people we're not really gravitating towards her. But later on, people were coming to be like, I think I like you and all of that. And in her mind, she's like, so am I supposed to take that as a compliment or what? So, and he, she now said, I mean, in the house, she actually got close to young puppy. You know, young puppy was the person she got closer to. In as much as getting into the game, she says she's not going to get so close to anybody because it's going to feel so sad when you are alone and that person is no longer there. But she said feelings is something you cannot control. So young papi came into the picture. You can try to hold your feelings, but you will not know when it happens. So young papi came to the picture. He was literally the only person she tells everything, you know, that in as much as he has gone, that she literally missed that boy so much, like, because she feels she's going to be alone and all of that in the house. And whom will she to, you know because of course nobody would understand her better like um young papi does you know and she said it is not easy you know being with people of different from different background and everything but she moved forward to the wage attacks you know and then she said uh, let's start talk about the wage attack she had she does not have much to even say you know this she would just be brief you know even her, if you watch her diary session with biggie biggie would ask her and she would go straight to the point and then she said currently she's really going down, that she feels so down, you know, that maybe knowing fully whether the show is coming to an end, you're thinking, oh, what does um, fate have for you outside there? You know, but at the same time, she now spoke about the wage attacks, how some housemates want decision to be all theirs. Of course, we all know who she's referring to when she talks like this, that they are there to give us their ideas. It's not a must, you must take it, but at least listen to other people's ideas and don't make it look like it's a shit or something you should not appreciate. So she actually was not happy about that. And she said she thinks maybe that is why her mood is actually low because she was enjoying this, their current wage attacks until this morning. I think they had a, a bit ish about when she, they drop advice and a particular housemate could not adhere to it. We all know who that person would be. Anyways, guys, after Z was Sinai, Sinai in his diary session, you know, spoke about how it was not easy to be in the house, how he is this kind of person that is family-oriented, especially knowing from the humble background he's coming from. He is this person that, you know, 
it's it just a natural good person coming to this place seeing that you have to put up to a person that you are not just to play a game so he thinks that he's not even gonna last in the house he thinks probably two weeks he would go but look at him right here he's still in the house he said at the point in the game he actually loses personality because he wanted to fit for the game just to, for the gameplay but the thing is as at the moment you're doing those things later on lying down on your bed you'll be like well is this even worth it why am i doing this thing is it pleased with my soul you know then you tend to realize that this is actually not you that people have a lot of negative things to say about you now she has learned that just to believe in yourself and know yourself whatever people say you know yourself that even when the dad came the dad also spoke about him not to focus on the negative because he is this person that um and he said it is in this house that he, he has become vulnerable that he's only vulnerable to his family girlfriend and siblings if not he has not been this vulnerable to large number of peeps that he do not know from adam he also said he prayed to at least make at least one genuine friend from here. But guess what? He made few friends, people whom he has learned something from, and they have also learned from him too. So it feels so good to be able to relate with some of the housemates, you know, and to have come thus far on the game. He lamented so well on how he tried not to lose his personality, his real personality over the gameplay. Anyways, he was still talking until the bell rang for him and he came out and was like shouting, yo, it is long, it is short and all of that. Mark Jr. was like, what is short there? Like, what are you guys saying there? <laughs> that is making you guys said you could not talk enough. What are you guys trying to talk about in there? You know, Mark Jr. was lamenting on that because he was wondering why they would be complaining that they do not have enough time, you know, to talk. And they were like telling him that when you get there, you would find out that you will not have enough time to talk, you know. And people were just anticipating to see what Mark junior would go in there and say you know knowing fully whether he's this person that is just always one side always alone and always on his own you know so people would really want to know what he's going to say because himself he's asking meanwhile before we continue after Sinai, i think was Mpumi, but i missed that of um willy i did not mean after this guy makeke was willy before we got see so let me talk about makeke's session because i did watch it too so in his session he spoke about how it was difficult to come to this house because of speaking english he said he speaks english but he's not fluent with english you know not too over like good 100 percent with english now coming to the house two people who speak through their nose you know and all of that that it was just too much so he said he did much this season i'm like yo really 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 you know so he said he did much this season especially the first three weeks he was out of character later on he now realized that this is not his person he just have to be like no i have to stick to my person especially knowing in the house that everybody is being coupled up and then he felt alone being a solo you know driver <laughs> in this game so at the point he'd be like really you cannot force yourself you know to be like other people and that he is this kind of person that he would need to like you so as to be in a thingy with you so he cannot start faking things and all of that and said in this house it's not been easy because even people you do not like you just really have to act cool with them and act like you're very okay with them he also did speak about his mom coming too. All right, after Willie, let me just talk about Pumi. Pumi was immediately after Sinai left. Willie was supposed to be after Makeke. So I just have to discuss Willie in between because I missed his part. I missed mentioning his part, not like I missed watching it. So from Pumi in her diary session, she sent a shout out first off to her mom, her siblings, her then her boyfriend, you know, people who literally were there for her when she had nothing. And then she introduced herself, the Queen of London, Pumi, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know she's good with the words, you know. And then she started off that's coming into this house. She came in with a strategy. But immediately she stepped her foot into this house, seeing all the personality, she dropped her strategy and decided to be herself. And then she said she is somebody that fears or what would I call it that drama. That's why she's not a dramatic person, but drama always follow her where she goes. I'm like, baby girl, are you sure you're not a dramatic person? You chose those dramas yourself, baby. No drama follow you go anywhere. <laughs> so anyway, she said, um, and then in this house is a thing of you cannot do any you cannot do anything to anybody if they offend you or say anything that hurts you so in this um, situation that she's somebody that do not believe in sharing is caring you know in as much as they need we need to share but in the aspect of you know sharing your man and everything she was caught up in a triangle which on a normal day she would not do that you know and the reason she did that was because she needed to get to someone through their weakness because of some things the person has said to them so meaning what Mpumi is trying to say right here that the triangle she gets into about about jared whatever was because maybe Liam said something 
to her that she doesn't like. So to get to Liema, she had to indulge in the Jalimpu Triangle. That is what she's trying to let us know right here. You know, that's why she did what she did. At the same time, she noticed she was losing her personality while doing that. Then she decided to step out of it, according to her. So she says it's not been easy in Biggie's house. You know that she has had a tough time and all of that. And then that she has learned to be more kind in Biggie's house. Learned to think before speak and all of that so after mpumi she was even talking and then biggie rang the bell she came out too and complained that the 10 minutes was not enough <laughs> i just imagine if yolanda was here jeez 10 minutes would be like one minute to her but i'm not gonna lie i really miss yolanda like even her diary session i really do miss it after mpumi was mac j mac jr finally got in and he started up with laugh laughter he said hey this is weird this is weird you know he started mac started talking about how he auditioned that first off he did late the girlfriend was even the one who pushed him to come for this that you know he, he said the 29th of october yeah that was when he auditioned 11 45 p.m you know that was when he did audition just close to when they want to close the audition the girl was like did you audition why did you not audition and then he did the audition and he got lucky i know some people will be like you did not do too much to get here but he feels he just got lucky to be here and then he said um he has he has not ever believed in being your authentic self until he got to this house that it has proven to him that you can be yourself and people would f with you the way you are and he spoke about his arrival papa ghost you know getting the what is it called the head of house twice in a row that he has tried to beat me too and uh, would break the record with me that when it comes to Monday, if he still remain in this house, that people will think um the head of house game does not really matter because it is the last week. That to him, he does matter because he wants to break the record of being the highest when he gets to winning the head of house game. That if he remains in this house, that he's going to take the head of house game so personal and it will pain him if he do not win it. And Papa goes go to win it for the third time. I'm like, yo, this boy, you will not be a sore loser. You know, and then he also spoke about... If you are his enemy, you are his enemy. No need of making up things because from the onset, you do not like him. But at the same time, when he leaves this place, he really hope to change that so that and have this mindset of, yes, I know you really do not like me then. My eyes are open, but I think we are open to peace, you know, and all of that. Mark Jr., I think you really need to work on that. You really need to because your enemy could as well later you settle and then things will go on with you guys you know just you just have to be very careful like you said and then he said it's also going to be stalking some housemates you know to see how they are doing well because the people actually were living in this house with strategy to see their real self outside of the house would make sense so after he left he also came back and complained the same thing after he has asked people that how, how, how what are you guys doing there how come 10 minutes was not enough he now told them that truly it was when he wanted to unpack that his 10 minutes elapsed i started laughing at him even sinai and um Bumi Le um, Z, they were just laughing at him. So the last but not the least was the head of house, Papa Ghost. Papa Ghost also find this word. He got to the diary room and started laughing. You know, you know, they are used to welcome to the diary room. Did not get that. They had to a bell and they start talking. And then he started off with um talking about how he got to the house that it was very easy for him to mix with people because he's a, he's, he's the kind of person that socializes outside it was very easy to you know link with people in the house and at the same time it was quite challenging because his important part in this house is on mondays and thursday mondays the head of house because winning the head of house means that you're safe in this house and then thursdays for their wager presentation because that wager presentation always is just like Biggie is his boss who they needed to deliver his job on Thursday. So he actually took it so personal, you know. So he made mention of the two wager tags that he was so proud of. He said the first one that they did the fashion tags and then the second one that they did the talk show. Now he also spoke about few stumbling blocks that came his way while he was trying to put out the energy to get things happen, you know. But at the same time, he did not let that get to him. You know, at the point he started speaking about his family he did not have much to say his, his major highlights he said is the mondays and thursday so he started sh sending shout out to his family his best friend his friends he started listing their names he was listing their names and all of their, that and then biggie rang the bell on him and then he also came out and said well this 10 minutes is quite small is it really 10 minutes you know <laughs> so all of them did complain about the timing except for makeke makeke said he's always shooting straight to the point without wasting too much time <laughs> which is true so anyways guys that was how your faves went into the diary session in their number to vent you know it is really getting to an end that we really enjoyed this housemates from the onset 
until now so it is a sweet feeling i don't know about you all it's a sweet feeling for me i did enjoy it also the ride was also an interesting one with all of you guys here my lovely mvps anyways guys me i'll be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later thank you so so much for always sailing with me bye for now babies